everyone, and good evening. I'm Brian Newdorf, one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service in Louisville. Things have ramped up as showers and thunderstorms quickly begin to work their way through, and we will see more activity as we work our way overnight. Here's how things are on our current radar, and as you can see, we have got over towards standing ground. Frankfurt, uh, a pretty strong storm. That severe thunderstorm warning, it is currently just about uh, almost 10 after 9. That goes until uh, 9.30. It's moving very quickly, anywhere between 50 and 60 miles an hour, and it's producing hail upwards uh, of an inch. Uh, we've had a few reports, and you can see how quickly. And we've got the Lexington area. That you are under a severe thunderstorm warning for the next five minutes as it quickly moves through, and again, Strong storms and hail is the main concern, but we could still get wind gusts of 40 to 50 and occasionally approaching 60 miles an hour with this event that is working its way through. As far as the rest of the precipitation and activity, this is kind of the first wave, but more is on the way. Behind this, though, a lot of this activity is diminished. It's not nearly as strong, but a few showers and thunderstorms this evening before a front will work its way through. As we look at the bigger picture, the bulk of the severe has been to our south. Again, this is about 10 after 9, but you can see up towards Illinois, through uh, central Illinois, that is where our front is, and that front is going to work its way through overnight. So we're not completely done with that threat. It is somewhere in a, a strong to marginally severe, but again, severe storms, as you see, are still possible. We have had reports of hail of upwards of an inch, and the wind gusts, you can see here across the area at times, we've had wind gusts approach 36 to near 40 miles an hour so far in the last hour, and some stronger ones are possible most important thing is how do you get the best information? Well, we will keep you updated the best we can, but always make sure you rely on the sources that are always going to be there, your local TV and radio, NOAA, weather radio. If anything gets really strong, you can always access information via your phone and, of course, Internet sites like our website, uh, weather.gov, where you can find here uh, pretty much just hour by hour uh, information when it comes to our forecast. Here you are. You can see things breaking down, taking everything and then it's going to get breezy and cold tomorrow, or you can just go in and up towards the top of your and just type in your location and get the latest weather information. Of course, we will keep you updated this evening as we go overnight on our social media sites from Twitter to Facebook to YouTube and, of course, over on our website, weather.gov slash Louisville, where you can see the latest severe thunderstorm warnings and all the advisories and all the information posted at the top of our page.